If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. They finally dropped it. We just got the track list to her loss, the new album by Drake and 21 Savage that is dropping tonight on November 4th. We got to take a look at this. We also got to connect this to the cover art, which we got earlier today that I made a video on. So let's break this down. Let's jump straight into this. So earlier today, we got the cover art for this new project. I made a video going over it earlier, which you can check out. It's going to be in the entire playlist for this album as well. I really do recommend all the fans out there that want to get a, a bigger view on this one to really go into that playlist and you know, look at a couple of the videos that I dropped. Also going over like fan-made theories and stuff like that. It's really worth it the watch. So we got the cover art. It's this picture of a girl with the tooth gap and a lot of people were already complaining about it. I'm like kind of torn. I went into that in the video earlier because if, if another artist dropped this, it will be called a classic. It will be like, you know, this is like, it has some symbolic meaning, but just because Drake is kind of like in his, in his like phase where he's just not caring about anything and just trolling and also putting up the fake Vogue cover, also putting up the fake Tiny Desk, the fake, you know, Howard Stern interviews and, and stuff like that. It's really fun. It's funny, but it's kind of like, you know, I thought that this was going to be more of a serious rollout. Well, anyway, we now, you know, got the track list, which is obviously the very exciting part. So let's look at this. So Drake literally at the point of recording this two minutes ago took to his Instagram to share this track list and it's kind of like my first impression of this is like wh what direction are we going in first we got you know that that weird cover and now it's a completely different style of track list he did you know caption this official track list her loss and then we can see a track list so let's break this down Let's look at the track list and what tracks are on there. And also we can learn about, you know, for example, the executive production on this one, which is very interesting. So in total, we got 16 tracks in here. So both rows that you can see are eight tracks. And my first thought was like, Drake is going to be the left, you know, side and 21 is going to be the right side. Maybe their individual styles will be represented in these columns or in these rows. We're going to have to wait and see how that turns out. There's a lot of theories on that obviously out there, but we just got to wait on it and wait till we get official confirmation on that one. I mean, basically till it drops tonight and we, we know more about this. But let's look at the tracks because they're interesting. Matter of fact, before we get into the tracks, let's look at what it says about the executive producers because it says Aubrey Drake Graham and 21 Savage. So they are also executive producing this thing. That is not uncommon that an artist is also executive producing the record, just to clarify, because a lot of people still kind of have this misperception of that. That doesn't mean that they're producing, like in the, the, the technical aspect of production on the album. That means that they're the overseers that are kind of like making everything come together and making everything click, bringing the people together, making sure that the production is on point when it comes to how the whole album has to sound, stuff like that. That is the task of an executive executive producer and they're both doing this on this new record also you can see the OVO and Slaughter Gang entertainment sign which is kind of like just a nod to to both of their you know affiliates right there but let's look at the tracks we can kind of go through them we don't see any features on here which is kind of funny because a lot of people were speculating J. Cole also Travis Scott I think reposted it Young Nudie as well so people were expecting those people but let's look at that maybe they're hidden maybe they're hidden features we we gotta wait to see it till it drops but let's go through them the first track is called Rich Flex um, pretty you know non-saying then we have a track called Major Distribution um, that's kind of like you know kind of kind of weird um, all of these tracks track titles are just like they, they seem very surface level none of the track titles are like those classic drake you know titles they can be like oh he's going in that direction with this one so kind of weird then we have a track called on bs i also don't know what that's going to be about then a track called back outside boys now correct me if i'm wrong but i thought this was a leak but let me know if you know more about this then a track called privileged rappers also in interesting then spin about you Hours in Silence, at least the first track that kind of sounds promising, then Treacherous Twins, interesting, very interesting, and then the second column starts with Circo Loco, I don't know what that's going to be about, then we have Pussy and Millions, maybe referring to their lifestyle, then Broke Boys, Middle of the Ocean, Jumbatron Shit Poppin', more M's, and then we have a track 3AM on Glenwood, which, you know, 
kind of like that. That's a nod to Drake um, having one of one of those time and place tracks on there. Like we had 5 a.m. in Toronto, um, the, the the Brittle Path one on COB, and the last track is called I guess it's Fuck Me. And I'm guessing that the last two tracks are the individual Drake and 21 Savage tracks, because usually artists collaborate on the majority of the album, and then they also have individual tracks that they go solo on. For example, Drake and Future did this with a 30 on 30 freestyle, and Jersey on What a Time to Be alive back in 2015 which was Drake's latest collaboration. Also the, the the background of this image with just the two girls that are holding up this this OVO bottle and it's like in a very psychedelic filter on it it's just not something that I was expecting this to go into the direction of because we got the front cover and it was kind of like okay where are we going with this and then it's like a completely different style on the back of this so that's kind of like what got me a little bit confused but I guess we gonna have to wait and see. But it's, it's really weird to have these two, the front cover and the track list, because they don't go together that well. I don't see the connection yet. I also don't see the, 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 the meaning of the word her loss. Like, I don't know what that could be referring to. It's going to be a really interesting night. You know, how we are going to you, you kind of get the rollout of this album. If we're going to get more info, if there will be hidden features on there, which would be very exciting. I am going to have a listening party for this on Twitch. So make sure you're tuned in on twitch.com slash Ben's Music Live if you want to, you know, be a part of that. It's going to be tomorrow. I'll announce the exact time on my YouTube community tab. So make sure you're tapped into that. Also, real quick, if you're in the in the game for a new hoodie, you can buy this Ben's Music hoodie that is comfortable as hell at the link in the description or just in the YouTube merch bar right there. Just, you know, to support the channel and to get a to get a dope ass hoodie. As I always say, I recommend you go check out the entire playlist that I made on this thing. As I said earlier, there are a lot more, there's a lot more material in there that might interest you as a fan that wants to go down the rabbit hole of a couple of theories, of a couple of just stuff that we had riling up in the past when it came to the rollout of this album. It's gonna be on that playlist and I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. The track list is kind of like, we're gonna have to wait and see how, how those titles work out because they don't, I don't know, to me they're not as promising yet, but we, we're gonna have to wait and see um, what they do with it. I am expecting like one or two solo tracks from each, especially with 16 tracks. That is, it's, it's quite a lot. So that's kind of like what, what I think about this. Anyway, it's, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm, I don't know why I'm sweating. I guess, I guess these lights are really hot. But yeah, that's it for today. We got the track list. We got the cover art earlier. I guess I'm gonna go to bed now and just wake up to the album and listen to it with y'all guys on Twitch. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be really interesting to see what y'all think about this also my live reaction. As I said, make sure you go check out the Twitch and all of your thoughts, all of your theories and opinions that you have on this album. Make sure to let me know all of them in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, I'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.